Hi, it's me again with Pharrell Roll Tips and Tricks. Little video on how to create something like this, like a ball that's been, I actually prefer this one. I did this one a little bit different. And it, it does kind of work because it's like you've taken half the ball off, so they're equal, but I'm gonna make one like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take an ellipse. Doesn't really matter what size, but I'm gonna make it an even number, so I'm gonna make it 18. And then I'm going to take another ellipse, not holding down the control button, and I'm going to make it 18. And then I'm going to hit P, and you can kind of see what I did there. Now what we can do is take the Smart Fill tool and color that in. I'm going to use the orange again. Color that in with the Smart Fill tool. You could go ahead and cut this away and use the Smart Fill tool to hit that. And then set your nudge factor on like maybe a quarter of an inch and nudge that up. You can see what I did there. Now the, the lines of the original circle are still there. So now we can take it and use the Smart Fill tool and I'm just gonna use a gray again and fill in that area and then take the interactive fill tool and I'm just gonna swipe through there but I'm gonna go ahead and get the conical or elliptical fountain fill and then I can spread this out. And it, then you might want to control or take the black and put the black in there. So you've kind of got a black to a gray and you can change the slider. And it does appear that that ball has been cut in half and you can see the shadow. Anyway, I don't really like that one. Let's go back here. That's one thing neat about this, you can always add to it. Let's make that gray a little bit gray, less, less gray. And then we can slide our handle out. And that would be like the shadow of the ball. Now I would suggest uh, right clicking no outline so it won't have that outline. Anyway, hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.